Well, boys, it's next week already. Makuta is starting to come apart. It's going peaceful. Not putting up much of a fight. Uh, we got some of our sheet metals in. There's the floor pan. We've got a rocker. They only shipped one so far. Uh, that's a one-piece floor pan that I'm going to use. Goes back to just behind from the firewall to the back seat. And then uh, well, I basically got everything to go all the way back. Uh, they're, not, they're not in yet as they come in. I shall show them to you. We got the exhaust off. There's those uh, little dumps they've got on them. You flip a switch and wide open exhaust. Uh, other than that, uh, getting ready. I'm going to pull the tranny out of it first, I think. Uh, make it a little bit lighter and less awkward. And I'm just going to pull the motor out, throw it on a stand, wrap it up, and put it away for now. Uh, we'll get back to that later. Uh, for now, I need to get this car stripped and get it over and get it blasted, get everything off it that I can, uh, unbolt everything so that I can, uh, before the weather turns too bad, get the uh, what's left of the frame and the cross members all blasted, cleaned up. So it makes it a little e easier to put it back together. But uh, you're coming along for the ride. I shall bring you back when I get some uh, big pieces coming out of her. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Had the car up high enough, worked out okay. A um, little help from you Mopar guys. I'm sure I can search it on the internet, but I'm sure there's also somebody out there that knows already. What is this? Ooh, I know it's a four-speed. Obviously a Dodge or some type. Anybody knows what this is? What it's called? Is it a Muncie? Uh, you know what I'm saying, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure there's only so many that they put in these things. So anyways, moving on. Greasy son of a pup, eh? Yeah, this thing was oil sprayed with motor oil. Uh, didn't have any leaks or anything like that, it's just that the previous owner, that's how he decided to keep it from rusting. Anyways, gotta go. So, uh, skip ahead, uh, it's out of there, yeah, left a big old gaping hole. Uh, all I gotta do now is figure out how to get the header out of there. It appears, to put headers on this car, you have to uh, disassemble your steering linkage. Not a fan of headers, not at all. They leak, they rust, sure they sound good, but is it really worth it? For that 20% horsepower gain. Yeah. So, anyways, guys, uh, motors out, trannies out, drive shaft, so on, so on. Uh, I asked on Facebook if anybody knew what this was. I got a couple of responses. I'm sure I can look it up on the internet and track the numbers. It doesn't matter, to be honest with you. Most I'm doing is going to open up the side cover if everything looks good, change the fluids, and put it back in. Um, we're not here to change the world on this mechanically wise because it runs real good. It's real strong um, This is just going to be a gasket well, yeah, I really hope I don't find anything bad in the pan, but just uh, you know oil pan gasket valve cover gasket intake gasket a new water pump Oil pump all those kind of things you do when you're got it out You might as well do it right cross plugs whatnot who knows who was into this last. Hopefully there's no major wear on this. Uh, I'm sure I could just send her out and get it done, but uh, I don't have time for a motor right now. We've got a lot of body work to do. And judging by the way this was done, I've got a lot of fixing of the previous uh, owners. A lot of uh, scabbing. And somebody was trying to smooth the inner fender wells and the... Uh, you know the firewall and whatnot and they put bondo and stuff on here i don't believe it was due to rot they were just trying to smooth in holes so i mean it's not sticking obviously they didn't i don't think they even had the motor out of this thing when they painted it uh we're gonna see what we can do to make it better see you guys 340 saturday maybe we'll do some more on sunday 
Uh, if I can clean this mess up a little bit, I want to get the uh, front and rear suspension out of it. See ya.